The video for today features one of the earliest brilliant vocalists whose life and work got professionally and intimately entangled with Ray Charles. Before we get started in today's video, please be sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and push that notification bell to be sure you won't miss out on any more uploads. Now without further ado, let's cue that intro. Mary Ann Fisher was born on February 23rd, 1923 in Henderson, Kentucky. Mary Ann was one of eight children. Her father was shot and killed when she was around four or five years old during a gambling game. Things grew difficult for Mary's mother as a result of losing her husband and raising eight children. So she did the unimaginable. She surrendered her children for the Kentucky Home Society for Colored Children, an orphanage in Louisville. Mary Ann and her older sister was adopted only after one year. Jonah Jones, Dickie Wells, and Helen Holmes all grew up in the same orphanage. Fisher adopted family lived in Russellville, Kentucky, and her adoptive parents was kind enough to notify Mary Ann and her older sister that the two was related. According to Fisher, around six years old after living with this family, her adoptive parents allowed her and her older sister to return home to live with their biological mother in 1935, but Mary Ann was 12 years old. Fisher claimed that because she was so little when she last saw her mother, she didn't really recognize her. Fisher looked up to her older sister as a mother figure growing up in an orphanage. She believed that since she didn't know her biological mother, she had to learn how to love her. Mary Ann had no idea that she only had three years left with her mother before she passed away in 1938. Mary Ann adored singing at church before she was adopted. Fisher relocated to Indianapolis where her mother passed away, where she would reside with her aunt. She was later sent back after being a victim of SA. Mary Ann relocated to Louisville where her older sister sent for her. In the early 40s, it's where she began chasing a music career while living with her sister. Mary Ann entered multiple talent events in her late teens at Louisville Historic Lyric Theater and the local convention center, where she won several prizes. Elmo Tucker, Cliff Butler, Doc Green, and the Morgan Brothers was among the numerous of local musicians that Fisher performed with. Fisher dropped out of high school in the 10th grade and pursued a music career while working a variety of day jobs. It was local club owners that introduced her to Count Basie, but she refused to go on tour with him due to her being so young and not wanting to leave home. But she did claim that if she left, she might have received her big break sooner. So she chose to remain home and she sung anywhere she could locally. Fisher then saw another chance and relocated to Detroit where she would work alongside T-Bone Walker and Della Reese. While working with these performers as well as playing in clubs, this really helped improve her art. It also allowed her to become the headline act at the old Arcade Bar. Fisher met Ray Charles at a Fork Knox bar in 1955 while she was working as a dishwasher. Charles had a nationwide success with the song I Got A Woman when they had met. This song was gaining popularity and it had a large fan base. Charles heard her sing and encouraged her to join him on tour, not only as a member of the band, but as a featured vocalist. Fisher and Charles end up gaining a sexual relationship while on tour, despite the fact that he was married at the time. Things was going very well, according to Fisher, who alleges that everyone assumed that she was Charles' wife and she didn't know that he was married. Fisher also alleged that when his wife occasionally joined him on the bus or during gigs and someone announced Miss Charles, everyone looked at her. She would also further allege that she and Charles' wife never had any problems. Fisher became the source of inspiration for Charles' song, Mary Ann. Well, oh, 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 you know you show the fire. From 1955 to 1958, Mary Ann appeared on a numerous of his singles. Conflict began to erupt quickly after Charles hired the group The Cookies and renamed them The Raylettes. Fisher was alleged to have tantrums 
the people will refer her as a member of the Raylettes. More trouble arose when Charles ended up developing a sexual relationship with a Raylette member, Margie Hendricks. On tour, this got quite poisonous since the two women was fighting for the affection and the attention of a man who was already married. Charles further distanced himself from Fisher, even going as far to create a song and had her sing lead. This song was called, What Kind of Man Are You? Now, you listen very closely. This song is simply Charles informing Fisher that he no longer wants to deal with her. The fiction between Fisher and Hendrix was quite true as represented in the Ray Charles biopic, Ray. Fisher had enough of Charles by 1958 and was ready to move on. Charles planned to drop her off in Louisville and pretended that he was going to solve the problem on the road between Hendrix and Fisher, but she was already done with him and done with the situation and insisted on being dropped off in New York. Fisher went out on her own and worked with numerous of booking agencies. Following her work with Charles, Fisher played at several places alongside superstars such as B.B. King, James Brown, Bobby Bland, Jackie Wilson, and Percy Mayfield, among many others. Fisher also worked in Washington, D.C. alongside Marvin Gaye before he was discovered by Harvey Fuqua. Fisher's solo career included several songs such as I Can't Take It. Here I stand, my heart in my hand. Put on my shoes. Wild as you can be. Tell me that you love me, but I think you're lying to me. Give. I want you more. Come on and give. And only yesterday. You said you'd love me from now. And you. Mary Ann sadly passed away at the age of 81 on March 12, 2004. That finished the story of Mary Ann Fisher. If you know anything about her, please let me know in the comment section below if I was correct or incorrect. I presented as much facts as I could locate and would love to revisit this video in the future if additional material becomes available. 